Hello. Stream hasn't even started properly and someone has already posted a YouTube link. Yeah, I was just about to look at what that link is. Let's see what that... Also, thank you, TSL, for the follow. Appreciate that, man. Uh... It's a song? Yeah, I see that. TSL, what the... What's the song for? How's it going? How's it going? Also, TSL, how's it going? And everybody else. On a scale of 9 to 10, how Canadian is final? 10. I was born and raised in Canada, so I'd have to say 10. Also, did some off-screen grinding today, and we finally got the blueprints for the secret weapon that I've been working towards. Last stream, I mean. Do the knuckle. I don't know what you're talking about, eh? <laughs> is it? Is knuckle actually a thing? Now I, now I have to actually search it up. Give me a second. Holy fuck it is. Alright, you know what? Let's do that while listening to ice cream music. Knuckle did a collab with Waffle. Now what's Waffle? <laughs> it's immovable object for... Good try though. I'm glad Streamcord actually fucking worked this time. Alright, where's my screen? Uh, let's go... Igloo. Maple. Uh, leaves. Uh, Ellen's second position, I think. Waffle is wordle, but in the shape of a waffle. Yeah, I ain't doing that. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of what it could be. CLE. I'm just gonna get, put some letters on the thing. D and R. Five minutes until the next level. <laughs> hmm. What could it be? If I don't do this, I'm gonna. I'm not. I, I'm not gonna be Canadian. And I bet you this will be the screen for the the YouTube thumbnail.
Hmm. Lord Drow. <laughs> Canadian citizenship revoked, yeah. DR, no. I'm trying to think of what a Canadian it, which Canadianism would be. Can it also be places? Okay. Oh, it can be a place. Oh crap. Okay. Which Canadianism? Isn't that it, that's that's a term I've used quite a lot. Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, PI, Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, Nunavut, Northwest, Yukon. I feel like I fucked myself here. Got it. Yeah, it's it's due to uh, First Nations communities. Got it. All right, now now I can <laughs> officially Canadian. Yeah, exactly. All right. Now we can actually go off and. Uh, we can get the weapon I've been wanting. Uh, laser cannon, OAWLC-32 Deadly Drive. It just cost me 82,000. Deadly Drive is absolutely fucking... No, no, I'm gonna have to do it? Yep. T tell him I did it and that he has to officially do it. Or we're gonna have to deport him. <laughs> Oh, son of a bitch, sorry. Now we put some extra ammo on that bitch. And now we go straight to fucking up some people. I do want to try. I miss using this weapon, so I'm just gonna warm up with it a little bit. 
This is an insane weapon to use on bosses. I can actually get ammo for this one. Drive is awesome, but it uses up way too much Femto. Mission complete. Mission accomplishment recognized. Mapping return sequence. I feel like if you just fire it, just like. It fires four beams that do like an astronomic amount of damage. So how has everybody's day been so far? Actually, I want to search up something quickly. Gumblings are moving more. The little orange bastards have opened their eyes. Oh no. Now they can see the carnage they cause and yet have no remorse. Investigate the drone production facility. Investigate a survey drone production facility in Zen's territory. Based on your findings, you may be authorized to destroy it. Mission briefing. Briefing will now commence. This mission is a request from Zen. Investigate the survey drone production facility in Zen's territory and destroy it if necessary. Complete any necessary arsenal preparations, then proceed to the mission area. Briefing over. Is Zen asking us to investigate one of their own facilities? This facility was originally a factory for manufacturing survey drones. It has since been shut down and abandoned. Just recently, the factory's manufacturing system came back online and resumed operations. Yeah, it's probably just some rats making cheese or something. Funny, but not likely. We should assume immortals have seized control of the factory. Four, Bulletworks will accept this mission. Affirmative. Mission acceptance confirmed. 
sure you're not overthinking this? I tend to assume the worst in most situations. They already corrupt our own AIs to use against us. It makes sense they take a more direct approach to increasing their numbers. When you put it like that, that sounds pretty bad. I should call my brother. I want to get in on this. Give me one sec. The five Hells will also accept this mission. Affirmative. Mission acceptance confirmed. This mission still has room for one more mercenary. Hey, what the hell? I was gonna hit up Deva so we could tackle the- Are you not familiar with the custom of ladies first? You're even more of a savage than I thought. You want to talk? <laughs> At any rate, I'll be joining this mission. Is that going to be a problem? I wanted to do this mission with my brother. My, my. You simply adore your big brother, don't you? Sorry, but the mission comes first. Hmm... Should I go without him? I know you trust your brother, but don't be so over-dependent on him. Hesitating even for a moment can get you killed on the battlefield. I need to prepare my arsenal. Whatever. I'll just grab another mission. So I'm thinking that Sunday might be the finale for the Metal Gear game. I've, I've been pushing uh, Demon X Machina a bit more so that I can actually get it closer to completion like MGS is, but I don't actually know how close uh, to the end I actually am. Approach complete. You have arrived at the mission area. Target facility located. Scanning battlefield. Femto particle density is at normal levels. Radar will not be affected. All sensors at maximum sensitivity. Data link established. I found an invasion route into the facility. This is the immortal base. It's in much poorer condition than I'd expected. As far as I can tell, nothing seems out of the ordinary. All units, follow me. Uh, strange. This doesn't match our prior data. The infrastructure is completely different now. The production facility now appears to extend underground. Discard your infrastructure data and reinvestigate the area. How labyrinthy. Alert. Detecting multiple tempo responses. They are headed this way. Yes, we know whether this is an immortal base. Set this facility as our demolition target. Destroy any immortals you encounter. Too strong, or this enemy is too weak. Our trial is a shame. Place. The enemy is overwhelming us. At this rate, we'll have no chance to destroy this facility. Hmm. Rookie, Nemesis, I need you two to be decoys. While you draw the Immortals' attention, I'll head to the core of the manufacturing system and destroy it. That should disrupt their control. Me? A decoy? Who do you think I am? If anyone among... This is not up for debate. If things get too dangerous, get out of here. That's an order. 
You presume to give me orders? Sorry, I need to have a little chat with the Immortals. Good luck. Chat? <laughs> what? He cut his communications. Fine. I will do as he says, but under protest. Shut up, Nemesis. the main core of the production system. I can't describe how massive this system is. And it's expanding itself. Spare me your commentary. Just destroy it already. Hold out just a little longer. I'm going to try to infiltrate the production system. Infiltrate? You're serious about talking to the immortals? Vain glorious idiot. You'll never get through to them. This is... Been listening. <gasps> what was that? What's happening? Attention. Powerful electronic interference is occurring in this facility. It's originating from the center of the facility where the main production system is located. <laughs> what oh, is shit. this message? Where is it being sent from? Just keeps repeating itself. Before, assess the situation at once. Alert. The facility's self destruct system has been activated. Countdown has begun. Evacuate the facility immediately. Self destruct? Crimson Lord, do you read me? We must escape this facility at once. We simply cannot afford to rescue him. Nor. Countdown to self destruction underway. Nor can I afford to die here. I must lead House Valentine. No savior to his rightful place as humanity's leader. Hurry! Here. Oh, fuck.
self-destruction underway. Mission complete. Mission accomplishment recognized. Some accomplishment. Attention. Arsenal ID signal received. Cross-referencing code. It's Crimson Lord. Yay. Crimson Lord, you're alive? Say something! I'm still alive? How? How did you escape? Even the shortest route from the facility's core would not have gotten you out in time. Something saved me. What saved you? What happened in there? I can't remember. I must have been unconscious for most of it. There is little we can do about that, I suppose. Four, we're returning. Mapping return sequence. All units return according to instructions. Yay. Unarmed meeting. This mission is a request from Orbital for your eyes only. These details may only be disclosed during the briefing. Okay. Mission briefing. Briefing will now commence. This mission is a request from Orbital. It is a special mission issued only to you. Grief has requested a meeting with you. Orbital has accepted his request and issued it to you as an official mission. Proceed to the designated site and meet with Grief. Grief has also requested that you come to the site alone and unarmed. However, this request is not enforceable, and you are under no obligation to abide by it. That being said, agreeing to this request is likely to earn you his favor. In the end, the decision is yours. In any event, make any necessary preparations and proceed to the meeting site. Briefing over. I'm, always, I'm curious to see what happens if I go in unarmed. Be advised that bringing allies or weapons, even piloting your arsenal, will be seen as an act of aggression. The choice is yours, but I recommend that you comply with the details of the mission. Approach complete. You have arrived at the mission area. Grief has been detected. Scanning battlefield. Femto particle density is near zero. Radar will not be affected. Thanks. Begin the mission. I'm going to load up my weapons, but I'm just going to abandon my thing. Yeah, I know. I failed. Fuck off.
right weapon had uh left weapon had Grim Reaper 2 I think it was shoulder weapon had right pylon had Gillinger Impact Left pylon had our dice. Let's see what he has for us, and then we'll kick his ass. Be advised that bring the choice is yours. Approach complete. You have arrived at the mission area. Grief has been detected. Scanning battlefield. Femto particle density is near zero. Radar will not be affected. Begin the mission. You came in your arsenal. What is the meaning of this? Oh, come on. Attention. Arsenals detected in the mission area. ID signals recognized. Grief, regret, and gloom of terrors. As I predicted, you should recognize this redundancy for what it is, Grief. Was I mistaken? What do you intend to do, Professor? Feigned ignorance is no longer an option. Do not be rash, Gloom. That's my... Still? Still you have faith? Haven't you realized by now? This unfortunate creature cannot hear the Dominator's voice. Why do you not understand? Why won't you even try to hear its voice? The time has finally come to press onward, but you and the others. This squandered last chance is your answer, Professor. Awaiting your orders. Yes, you're right. Redundancies must be eliminated. I'll help you. You don't need to dirty your hands taking out this trip. As you wish, Professor. I suppose this was inevitable. They seem to believe you are some sort of redundancy. One that they intend to eliminate. Die, Damon! You are authorized to defend your life. Your mission objective is to defeat terrors and escape the mission area. Begin the mission. I was supposed to give you everything. What a disappointment you turned out to be. Fuck. Finally, I can kill you without upsetting grief. Only when everyone is dead will humanity realize its folly. And by then, it will be too late.
ist so, ich hör's gar nicht. Imagine Final Bean such and not loot. <lacht> How's it going, man? Thanks so much for the sub. I greatly, really, really appreciate that, my dude. It's going good, how about you? I'm doing good. I had a sub and some ice cream. So I have a happy cutting right now. Also, I tried uh, the new Mike's Hard uh, uh, Red Freeze, and that, that tasted good. What have you been up to lately, Sawyer? I just scored a lot of blue. It doesn't matter whether we die today or centuries from now. The future is already decided. Hey newbie, how's it going? I'm doing all right. I had a sub, I had two subs, and uh, and uh, two ice cream sandwiches for dessert. A 
shame. If you had touched the Dominator, you too would understand. That divides your fate. You would find out of my mathematics finals today. How do you feel you did? Hey, you're right. How's it going? Thank you for the hydrate positive check. Already got the results. 13% points. Is that bad? Like, you only got 13%? Oh, thank you so much, man. Hope your stream was good. What were you streaming? I think Super Mario, Super Mario Sunshine, nice. Bit of Genshin, then some Gates of Hell. Variety streamer gaming. <laughs> I do lots of things, nice. Well, um, if, as long as you have fun, that's the, like the first and foremost point. What the fuck is grief? Hungry? Well, go get some rest and some something to eat, my dude. I'm thankful for the raid, but you gotta go take care of yourself. Another club of Grand Hello. Right. You're awesome, have a great stream fight. You are awesome too, man. Take care. Where the fuck am I? Hey, Sky, how's it going? Ah, oh, shit.
Oh, my, my Mirage defeated uh, Grief. Tried to kill Yaron, 237 attempts so far. Yikes. Beep boop beep, time to, <laughs> time to repair my arsenal. Closest I got was 20%. Nice. You're on his mean plus on melee? Well, yeah. I always thought, like, Yarn would have been too quick for melee. I have no idea where she is. I uh, will either go rogue or range on my expert mode playthrough. Oh, yeah. Are you going to go expert revengeance or? Because I wish you luck on the pain. I think my toughest fights were like Slime God and. Uh... Yeah, slime, slime God was a nightmare. What else? Moon Lord was a nightmare. Stop fucking flying. Why are you even fighting? Is it really worth dying for? I can't believe that. I will not return to turn on revenge as a first, maybe for a third play. Mission yeah. complete. Good luck. Mission accomplishment recognized. If I can't kill you here, has a snarl befallen fate's threat? No, that could never happen. Still. Shut up, grief. No matter. The necessary pieces are already in place. 
Tell the Brigadier General. Tell him this will not end the way he expects. Justice and evil, love and hatred, determination and despair. All powerless before an unwavering future. Can we just alt for grief? You'll see. I wish. The blockade of the mission area has been lifted. Mapping return sequence. The traditional celebration suicide. Uh, I prefer to call it a dumpster dive. <laughs> Emergency dispatch request. This is an urgent mission from Orbital and its affiliated consortium nations to all available mercenaries. Once you've been briefed on the situation, prepare your arsenal for immediate dispatch. Mission briefing. Briefing will now commence. This mission is a request from Orbital and its affiliated consortiums to all available mercenaries. We'd like you to join the briefing and provide any assistance that you can. An emergency situation is unfolding in the Oval Link. At this time, we are still gathering data and composing the details of this mission. Complete your preparations as quickly as possible and dispatch. The details of this mission will be updated as necessary. A very old and important tradition at the bonfire. I don't condone suicide, I just condone just like tomfoolery at like the last possible moment. Briefing over. Can you believe it, Rookie? They want to put every available mercenary on this mission. That's never happened before. What's going on, Four? Roughly four hours ago, arsenals under the command of a certain mercenary seized one of Orbital's most important facilities. What? Who would take over an Orbital facility? Grief. BG! But why would Grief do this? The bastard's finally showing his true colors. Apparently, he's been preparing to usher in something he calls the Dominator. What the hell's a Dominator? It's what Grief and some other researchers have been calling that giant mass of femto ore buried in the center of the Oval Link. According to Grief, it will not enslave us as its name suggests, but guide us in some manner. What? How's a chunk of femto ore supposed to do that? I mean, sure. With that much raw femto, he could take over at least one consortium. Maybe two. But even so... Apparently, it's not that simple. The Dominator is no delusion of griefs. But that he would rebel against humanity for its sake is just... Rebel against humanity? You disappoint me, Brigadier General. You don't understand anything. Grief. Perhaps you could enlighten us then. I would be happy to fill the gaps in your knowledge. In due time, the Dominator will reveal itself to us. This event is inevitable. It cannot be stopped. No matter what I do, the future will not change. Then why did you attack Orbital's facility? If what you're saying is true, you had no reason to do that. So I may correct the course of history without delay. Humanity must advance to the next stage as fast as possible. This is not a spur-of-the-moment decision. I have been waiting a very long time for this. What? Sorry to interrupt, BG. But Orbital just declassified the information on that facility's defense system. Now I understand why they were so reluctant to reveal this info. These specifications are... Insane. This is clearly a violation of the treaty. Why do they need so much firepower? What are they trying to protect? Anti-arsenal weaponry. Proof that Orbital did not even trust us. 
I can think of a much better use for such weaponry. Farewell. <laughs> Lieutenant, make that defense system data available to everyone. Right away, sir. Excellent. With this, Bullet Works will now conduct a mission to destroy that facility and take grief into custody. Squad 1 will consist of Crimson Lord, Bishop, and Johnny G. Squad 2 will consist of Falcon, Painkiller, and Bonebox. Squad 3 will consist of Drake, Diablo, and... Ha <laughs> ha! Finally moving up in the world! No. I want the rookie for this mission. Oh, poor hey, artist. Gee, are you for real right now? Why do I gotta sit this one out? You're not. I need you with me to provide logistical support. If you want me to come lay down some sick tracks on the battlefield, you should have just said so. Everyone, prepare your arsenals at once and I get ready to dispatch. I love artists. Talk about escalation. I never imagined we'd all dispatch for one mission. What the hell's happening to the Oval Link? If you want to know, survive this battle and see for yourself what the future brings. Yes, sir. That's what I've been doing so far, and I'm not going to stop now. Rookie, I'll see you at the mission area. Approach complete. You have arrived at the mission area. Prepare your arse. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Femto particle density is at normal levels. Radar will not be affected. Hey, wait, Scott, I forgot to ask. How are you doing, with the entire squad through the Brigadier General's arsenal. Target facility identified. Begin the mission. As noted during the briefing, this facility is fortified by a ridiculous defense system. The main attraction is an omnidirectional laser cannon, powerful enough to strike any section of the Oval Link's barrier. So we busted the hell off before it melts our faces off. Crude, but yes, that's the idea. Since it needs to store a large amount of energy before it can fire, that makes it somewhat predictable. In the unlikely events that you take a direct hit at this distance, both arsenal and pilots will be disintegrated. If we bring down the defense system, Grief will have no choice but to show his face. Major, we'll engage Grief when he appears. You will attack from the front to subdue him. If worse comes to worse, you have my permission to kill him. Yes, sir. Grief. The legend himself, huh? I think he did ask, but I had to AFK for a bit. I'm good? Nice. I'm glad you're good. Everyone, spread out. Begin the mission. Ah! Going one-on-one -on -one with grief, huh? You can't hack it, Major. I'd be happy to take over. Cut the chatter. Focus on the mission. You saying I'm not? Everyone knows you're strong, kid. But riding off the enemy like that makes people nervous about letting you handle things. I'm not riding off grief. I just really want to fuck this all. A victory for Bullet Works is a victory for all of us. Didn't I tell you? A real pro finishes the job they've been assigned. I know, I know. You hammered it into my head so hard I have nightmares about it. We're gonna draw a brief out. We gotta deal with the kid first. Sergeant, swap these nads, will ya? I'm going in! Kid, wait! Rookie, we're going in too!
It's so good. What's so good? <laughs> what a joke. This isn't over yet. Terrors will show themselves. All units, stay alert. And if they don't show, my detonator is primed and ready to bury them. It's your whole grief. I'm honored that all of Bulletworks would come to greet me. Who will face me first? Or shall I face you all at once? Grief! He's here. All units close in. Major, engage Grief. Tell me right now what the hell's going on! What? The Major couldn't even land a single hit? How's that possible? Oh, the final... <sighs> Am I really going to lose here? After coming so far? How boring. Even the ace pilot of Bullet Works is a mere human like the rest. Submit to the voice of the Dominator, and you will transcend the limits of your own humanity. The... the Dominator? BG, you should order everyone to retreat. A foul scent surrounds us. Are you even still human? I am more human than any of you can possibly imagine. I walk the one true path. The ideal form humanity should have reached. None of you understand anything. On a scale of one to hee hee, how drunk are you? I don't think that drunk. I just said that because I ha I just put that title because I have been drinking. I need to stop listening to the song or also start stop liking it. <laughs> Which song? Take your gun and put no out the major's arsenal. Try to kill the kid to protect grief? <laughs> Big mistake. I... I can't lose yet. Wait, wait! I was facing down grief. Then the Major attacked me. And now the Sergeant is... What's going on? This doesn't make any sense! Kid, focus! This is still a battlefield. You've got enemies right in front of you. Necromancer dancing? Interesting. I can't lose to anyone. Never. Never! A new revolutionary Just movement. Back, what? Kid. Don't worry about me. This thing in front of us. It's not human. Just a big scary monster is all. <laughs> That's right, Major. I'm calling you out. Sergeant! Me? A monster? What the hell are you talking about? This is what you've wanted all along, Crimson Lord. It feels good to be called a monster, doesn't it? Won't you come with me? I have so much more to show you. More. I can become even stronger. I came together when I had left behind. Only to depart with so much more. I assume you have no complaints, Brigadier General. Damn you, Grief. If there's nothing else, I must be on my way. 
I have a lot of work left to do. Bastard! Remember, Lieutenant? Someday I'll be next. Don't keep me waiting. Come and kill me. Crimson Lord, you bastard. Grief's unit has left the mission area. Mission complete. Mission accomplishment recognized. Screw the mission, Sergeant! Don't waste your time calling the medics. <laughs> Just get a body bag ready. <laughs> huh? Come on. <laughs> Lighten up, kid. Why did you do that? Why? Because it's my duty. I'm supposed to be teaching you, kid. You protected me. Was this art nice? Me. Look at what you got me saying. Maybe now you understand what the battlefield is really like. Sergeant, I'm an idiot. I know that. I'll never stop apologizing for it, I swear. Just don't die. Please don't die. I'm not gonna tell you to avenge me or anything. I just want you to keep living. Pretty sure I taught you that much at least. You hear me? Sergeant, please. Save your strength. Brigadier General, that mission you gave me... Did I complete it? Without question. You don't need to worry. I will always be on the battlefield. Damn right. Now I... Now I can finally go home and... <laughs> see my family again. Catch you kids later. Sergeant! Sergeant! Do not forget this day. Do not forget your comrades who have fought and bled with you on the battlefield. Keep them in your memory, and you will pay your respects to the sergeant. Now, let's bring her home. Sag moments. Unknown hostile forces are preventing transport aircraft from leaving Sky News frontline base. Team up with other reclaimers to guard the aircraft. Mission briefing. Briefing will now commence. This mission is a request from Sky Union. Unknown hostile forces are preventing transport aircraft from taking off from one of Sky Union's frontline bases. Eliminate these hostile forces so the aircraft can safely take off. The situation is currently in a stalemate. Complete your preparations as quickly as possible and dispatch. Briefing over. The expression unknown hostile forces immediately caught my attention. Are you suggesting these enemies aren't immortals? We have reports of two arsenals accompanying the enemies. This could be mimicry by corrupted AI, but we lack conclusive information at this time. Oh, become a necromancer? Oh, well, that's worrisome. But if they aren't immortals, maybe the Western Seven are involved somehow. Though I'd rather deal with immortals, honestly. Shut yeah, notes. well, we're not heading out to make small talk. 
Whether it's Immortals or the Western Seven, we should expect to see some action. Know what I mean? Good point, Jack. Four, is there anything else we should know about this mission? Two transport aircraft are standing by at the base. If either aircraft is rendered incapable of takeoff, it will result in immediate mission failure. Must be moving a lot of stuff then. Like they're relocating the whole base or something. Defending two transports at once though, that's going to be difficult. How come other reclaimers haven't accepted this one? While all reclaimers have been notified of this mission, many have declined due to their active participation in other ongoing missions. Other reclaimers, such as the Five Hells, the Western Seven, and Panzer Crown, have yet to respond at all. I guess this one's riding on us, then. Understood. We better start prepping our arsenals. Rookie, you're coming too, yeah? If the enemy has two arsenals with them, the three of us will have the numbers advantage. Jack's right. I hope you'll join us for this mission. Approach complete. You have arrived at the mission area. Scanning battlefield. Femto particle density is near zero. Radar will not be affected. Initiating each arsenal's data link. Those are the transports we're guarding. Now to find those enemy arsenals. Whoa! Hey, what's the big idea? You could at least greet us before you start shooting. The enemy force contains two arsenals. Wait a minute. Oh, son of a bitch. It? Because I don't want to die, obviously. What's the matter with you? You talk too much. I should kill you. It's not Bro, the two the worst Western people Center. in this freaking game. The five hells. What's going on here? How should I know? Just keep these ladies the hell away from the transports. Move out. That just is cool. I just want to become a wizard. That just is cool. Do you have any idea what you're doing? You know Savior would never involve himself in a battle between consortiums. Abyss, what's this guy talking about? He's not making any sense to me. They're trying to destroy the transports. Just as our lady sister said. If we wait here, bad people will appear to attack the aircraft. Bad people should die. We're bad people? You've got it all wrong. We can talk this out. Bad people, good people. It doesn't matter. In the end, everyone dies. This is way too deep for me. I'm just gonna listen to my lady sister and break you all. <laughs> it's no use, Notes. We're gonna have to use force to put them down. is destroyed, the mission will end. Avoid further damage to both transports. Heaven, Abyss, what are you doing? Are these rabble not Savior's enemies? No, we're not enemies! Ask Savior, he'll tell you! They keep saying that. Because they're lying. That's what bad people do. But they just won't break! Have you two forgotten what I taught you? Uh, we're gonna be keep, I don't like become evil a bit like two kids on it. Do you want Why would you back kittens? You? Disappoint me. Savior's enemies must die! Attention. 
Damage to target beta has reached 70%. Further damage bitch. may prevent the transport from taking off. Exercise caution and continue the mission. What did they just do? How are they moving like that? It exceeds human limits! My head... It hurts. But we gotta break them. Break them, break them, break them! Any ships. I want to go and fight like them. The only thing I have that are valuable. Too shy. Well, I'm not saying that you're not valuable. I'm just trying to say kittens are valuable. I didn't say you're worthless. It's pointless to keep fighting. Please withdraw. Allow us to complete our mission. Well, this was certainly unexpected. Of this, you know what must be done. Do it. The silage laundry mask. Attention. The enemy arsenal has self destructed. Damage to Note's unit is unknown. The transport aircraft have begun their takeoff sequence. Mission complete. Mission accomplishment recognized. They're not supposed to be. You made her self-destruct? Your own sister? What of it? She is disposable. Don't presume to understand our family. Disposable? Notes! You're okay! It's gonna take more than that to kill me. Can't say the same for my trashed arsenal, though. Anyway, Nemesis, you better explain what you meant by disposable right now. I don't need to explain anything to the likes of you. Hey, we completed our mission. 
That means we won and you lost. You sacrificed your little sister for nothing. And yet, I don't care in the slightest. Good day. You're not even going to recover your sister's body? <laughs> I don't understand this at all. I thought she was your family. You had best keep that ignorant mouth of yours closed, boy. Those girls have been dead for a long time. What? What is that supposed to mean? Their hearts no longer beat. Their rotting organs are replaced regularly. All so they can fight for savior. Oh. Fuck, okay. That is their way of showing their love. Yes, I used them. But I respect how they chose to show their love. What the hell kind of answer is that? I would kill Savior if that's what he asked of me. What is that, if not love? This is why I, I didn't like the, the harem Until we fucking meet shit. That's disturbing. Get back here, Nemesis! Damn it! Settle down, Notes. I've already sent out a rescue request for Heaven and Abyss. Sorry, I don't know what came over me. It's just... We completed our mission, so why do I feel so... hollow? I know what you mean. I'm sure the rookie is just as confused as we are. Who knows what she was really after? This is a family, it's a cult, exactly. Maybe Savior can help us understand what Nemesis was saying. This is polyamory way, gone wrong. There's a good way Four to do polyamory, and that's not sequence. it. Affirmative. Mapping return sequence. Honestly, I completely forgot about that part of the game. I, f I forgot that that's how it is and it's completely fucked up. I knew I didn't remember, I remember I didn't like the five elves for some reason. Destroy the missile base. Unidentified armed forces has occupied a missile launch facility in Zen's territory. Team up with other reclaimers to destroy the facility. Mission briefing. Briefing will now commence. A missile launch facility in Zen's territory has been occupied by unidentified armed forces. Zen and the other consortiums have issued this mission for its immediate destruction. No activity has been detected from the facility, but it could resume operation at any moment. Complete your preparations as soon as possible and dispatch. Hi TKJ, how's it going? The fuck did they die that forced them to keep uh, renewing their organs to fight? Briefing over. I mean, I'm fuck it. I'm part robot. I wouldn't. I'd say anything to do with robotics or whatever. Nano machine, son. Can you believe it, Deva? It's going good. Oh yeah. Begin. Does Zen have some convenient excuse for why they went and built something like that? The facility does violate the treaty, but they relinquished ownership and issued the mission to destroy it before Orbital ever identified it. That's their explanation? What a load of crap. It doesn't matter, Zoa. The base is already built. Our job is to destroy it. True, but I'm more concerned about the forces occupying the base. What are they planning to do with it? Sphix is a nerd? Yeah, but nerds are cool. Ogres just don't just rot when they're uh, we I don't mean, know. kinda? Our information is insufficient. I'm currently in contact with Zen regarding the threat level this facility poses. So, we don't know. Great. Everyone's worked up over Grief's rebellion and orbital secret research, but I don't care about any of that. All I know is, some bad dudes have taken over a missile base and we gotta go kick their teeth in. Is that about right? Essentially. I don't know if it's that simple, Deva. You're not wussing out on me, are you? Let's show them what the Steel Knights are made of. I know it. I know never they said they weren't. <laughs> Fine. The Steel Knights will take this mission. Our job is to beat up bad guys. The more annoying stuff, bullet works. Oh, out. I think I think I remember this mission. This is a little bit of a heartbreaker. You're coming too, aren't you, rookie? Don't keep us Spoilers. waiting now. Once your arsenal is prepped, we'll dispatch for the mission area. 
Just be prepared, Deva. You don't know what we're up against this time. Just hurry up before I leave you behind. Yeah, think about it, guys. It's it's a it's a game all about shooty mechs, and now it's getting really emotional. I think this is the mission, at the very least. Approach complete. You have arrived at the mission area. Scanning battlefield. Femto particle density is low. Radar will not be affected. Initiating each arsenal's data link. Opening squad communications channel. Begin the mission. That's the missile launch facility, yeah? The forces occupying it are... There are no responses on the radar. Shall I investigate the surrounding area? No need. Our mission is to destroy the facility. Let's just fire away till nothing's left and head on home. Showtime. Three, two, one, fire! Attention. The facility has taken only minor damage. It remains largely unscathed. Well, this is a tough nut to crack. Maybe we gotta bust it up from the inside. Searching for an entry point. Huh? There's nothing on the radar. I'm sorry I didn't greet you first, but I can't allow you to destroy this facility. I know you. You're that Kung Fu master from the Western Seven. Oh, I'm flattered you've heard of me. Kung Fu Master, huh? Is that what they say about me? I like it. This guy's not taking us seriously at all. You okay, Zoa? Yeah, I'm in one piece. He was waiting in stealth mode to ambush us. Are you with the guys who took over the missile base? If you leave now, this doesn't have to get messy. I think there has been a misunderstanding. You see, we're here on an official mission from Zen to defend this facility. You what? should sort this out with Orbital. If your mission was issued by mistake, you're the ones who will be penalized. Maybe so, but I don't take punches without giving some in return. Deva, rookie, we're starting the mission. Did you listen to a word I just said? Your mission is clearly a mistake. I don't give a damn about the mission. Where are those missiles aimed? Wherever they strike, the weak are the ones who'll pay the price. Mission or no mission, I'm tearing this place down. Think about what you're saying. You could lose your mercenary credentials over this. Good thing we aren't mercs. Then what are you? We're heroes of justice. Then show me how true heroes conduct themselves. You gotta do better than that. <laughs> is not worth panicking over. Processing. A new enemy has appeared on the radar. Caution is advised. Come to play hero again, huh? We're not going to be able to get anywhere near that facility unless we deal with her first. I understand why you want to destroy this missile base. I can't say I disagree, either. That's true. Then withdraw. I'll let you out for the warning this time. <clears throat> They're taking too much damage. Nameless. Withdrawing. Reinforcements detected. I'll kill anyone who gets in our way. I don't know if we can get 
through to this guy. Hey, Baldy, do you even know what you're doing? If you launch those missiles, the whole world is gonna rise up against you. Good. So what? I got nowhere else to go. World's always had me in the crosshairs. They've been scared of me since day one. This is about fighting for your comrades? Fine. Come at me with everything you've got. For resupply and repairs. There's no need to be aggressive. Push them to the brink and move in for the kill. True to form, Reaper. Using whatever sleazy tricks you can to take home a win. Is your mission so important that you help Zen protect their dirty little secret? I'm not protecting this missile base or the mission. Then what are you doing? It's no use talking. If you want to stop us, only force will do. Works for me. Oh, Don't chips. start crying if you wind up dead. That all you got? Weak! One bogey. Next. So long. The, the VA sounds like Kronk? Kind of does, yeah. Side note, I've always wanted to get Patrick Warburton to voice uh, a character in Skybreakers.
healing. Yeah. Just enough so I'm not, I'm not afraid, you know. Why do you fight? Hey, new, how's it going? You're not the last one, are you? Come on, call the rest of your goons. We'll take you all on. Captain, the job is done. Give the order to withdraw. Londok! Did you not hear me? All units, evacuate the base and withdraw from the mission area. That's an order. So, you're up next, huh? Release the safety on your weapons. It's not very heroic to point your weapons at an unarmed man. I haven't come to fight you at all. On the contrary, I'm going to save you some trouble. Excuse me? What are you talking about? Observe. Facility destroyed. Mission complete. Mission accomplishment recognized. Just woke up. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I got what the Anfang Arger. Yep. Do? Uh, I went exploring off stream and I, d I just found it, so I just kept it. I agree that something as profane as this facility should be destroyed. Zen wanted so badly to protect it, they issued two competing illegal missions. To me, that just proves they have no right to selfishly hoard it for themselves. Huh? What are you talking about? Thank you for buying me time, Reaper. I got what I was after. You should be pleased. I'm sure Grief will keep his promise. Grief? What does he have to do with this? I'm sure the Rookie can explain. I'm not sure why you trust them. But know that they're part of a bigger game. You're welcome to join the game yourselves. As long as you know the rules. What does that mean? Let's go, Reaper. I don't want to be late. Understood. Hey, get back here! The enemy arsenals have left the radar search range. What the hell is going on? I have no idea what any of this means. There's no point standing around here. We should head back. Four, you know what to do. Affirmative. Mapping return sequence. Didn't make it in time. Didn't make it in time, but I rushed right to the edge of the area and just blew up. Just, uh, etc. Destroy the colossal immortal base. A facility that is believed to be a, uh, be a base for corrupted AIs has been detected in the center of Overlink. Team up with other reclaimers to destroy this facility. Mission briefing. Briefing will now commence. A facility believed to be a base of unprecedented size for corrupted AIs has been found near the center of the Overlink. Bulletworks has issued a mission to destroy this facility. Complete your preparations as soon as possible and dispatch. Briefing over. Oh, it works as a this mission. Would someone care to explain why the client for this mission is Bulletworks? Orbital has acknowledged its current dysfunction, and the consortiums are in no condition to deny the corruption that grief has spread. In light of this, 
Orbital's board of directors and the consortium nations of Sky Union, Zen, and Horizon came to a mutual decision. They transferred their power to approve and issue missions to Bulletworks. In other words, me. Yes, I suppose that logic tracks. I feel somewhat slighted that I was not chosen to receive those emergency powers, but no matter. What's the situation? Simply put, Grief is revolting against the human race. He has managed to recruit other reclaimers to his cause. Their whereabouts are currently unknown. Bulletworks, I sure hope it does. <laughs> uh, that actually will be chuckle. The Lord of Bulletworks and Reaper and Klondike of the Western Seven have joined him. While rigid of immortal innocence has disappeared. And my eldest sister Nemesis has also fallen under grief's sway. What nonsense has that madman filled her head with? To that point, I have a few ideas. Remember when Grief attacked Sky Union's data center? In which the leader of Panzer Crown defected and stole the megadata? How could I forget? Yeah, that's what happened. In hindsight, not my proudest moment. What is this traitor doing here? I'll have no part in this farce. Listen to what she has to say first, before you judge her a traitor. Empress, the floor is yours. So, the Mega Data I snagged contained all the records of Sky Union's involvement in the Ovalink project. Grief only wanted specific information, and since I wanted the data so badly, I agreed to give him what he wanted in exchange for the rest. And why exactly did you want this information so badly? Because I wanted to know what it means to be human. I beg your pardon. You speak as though you're not human yourself. Bingo. I wanted to be human. Therefore, I wanted to know the history of the human race. That's why I made a deal with grief. Nonsense. If you're not human, what are you? I'm an AI. I created myself, crazy as it sounds. My personality is basically the result of human consciousness being copied onto a neuro AI. An AI? You? You must be joking. That's unbelievable. Yeah, I know. Honestly, I don't know if I'm just a computer generated personality or if I truly have a soul to call my own. <sighs> well, that's neither here nor there. Enough of your existential dread. The data is why we're here. Just what is the Oval Link project? It's a plan Grief put together to reach something in the center of the Oval Link called the Dominator. Everything he's done has been for that purpose, and he's been working toward it for a long time. Assuming I even believe all this, what is the Dominator? Why would Grief go to such lengths to obtain it? According to Grief, the Dominator will guide humanity to its next stage. He intends to receive it, and become the foundation of a new human race. Okay, fine. I'll say it. This story is, uh, crazy. And Grief, he sounds like a nut job that we're better off ignoring. Even if I believe the word of this crap, it's got nothing to do with Zoa or me. Sorry, but we're not touching this one. Why would I call you here if this has nothing to do with you? Beats the hell out of me. Because of the tattoos that you and your brother have. The only one who knows about our tattoos is the son of a bitch who killed our parents. You better start talking and fast. Their design. It's an encryption key sequence. Okay. Keep talking, but go slower. <laughs> <laughs> Machines can't have souls because all the souls are mine? No. Your father was involved in the Oval Link project. Your mother was a mercenary. An intelligence agent for Sky Union, to be specific. When they discovered the real purpose of the project, they took that encryption key so they could alert the public. But they were assassinated before they could get that far. I have the mission records to prove it. I'll send it to you so you can see for yourself. Me and Zoa, we grew up refugees. We thought our folks abandoned us. We've spent every day of our lives searching ruined neighborhoods for kids in similar situations. One day, we found two arsenals that had been hidden away. They booted up after identifying me and my brother's biometric data. 
Inside, we found a message from our parents, along with a picture. Our parents didn't abandon us at all. They saved us. That's why we became mercenaries, so we could save as many kids as possible. And that picture we found, we got it tattooed on our bodies to remind us of our parents. We didn't care about getting revenge. Not really. The faith your parents placed in you was the key to breaking the encryption on that mission record I gave you, as well as other classified documents. So this record is for real. Grief's the one who issued this mission. He arranged our parents' murder. Uh-oh. It's spelled out clear as day. You and your brother have a right to the truth. That's why I called you here. God damn it. Grief's been pulling everyone's strings from the beginning. Yes, well, I have other unfortunate news to deliver. If Grief receives the Dominator, the human race will be completely wiped out except for him. Oh, no. Grief will be boinkless. What? Why the hell didn't you say so sooner? That's got everything to do with us. I wanted you to listen to Empress first. So you believe me when I tell you that Grief isn't just some delusional madman. He must be stopped. No matter He's already the pointless. Cost. This is a lot to process, but I understand now. I'll admit to some curiosity about Grief's recent actions, but I couldn't have imagined something so beyond the pale. Even so, there are still ways to put a spanner in his works. Reclaimers like us can act without being beholden to anyone. We may be the only ones who can stop grief now. Unless... Unless? Who else but us is capable of opposing grief? The Immortals. Huh? Come again? You mean the sworn enemies of the human race, those Immortals? They are too incomprehensible for this situation to be that black and white. Think about it. Who has destroyed the most immortals by far? The legendary mercenary. Grief. I came up with a theory. What if the immortals are actually hostile toward grief? From there, I devised this mission. Generally speaking, our goal would be to destroy the immortals and their base. But if that base is actually a command post, we might learn something. What do you think we'll learn? That I can't say. But since it's my theory, I insist on dispatching for this one. I'll come too. I might be able to analyze the core of the AI. Seriously, BG? You're not the leader of Bulletworks anymore. You're in charge of all the Reclaimers now. You can't just run off to the front line with guns blazing anymore. I'll go. You Even I wouldn't out. boink him. <laughs> hmm. You too, Empress. I'm going instead of you. I won't take no for an answer. But I gave the data to grief. I have to take responsibility for what I've done. No one here is going to give you a ration of crap for that. And thanks to you, we know what we got to do now. Besides. It's not like we've learned everything there is to learn about the Ovalink project, have we? I guess not. That mega data is like a prophecy, and you're the only one who can decode it and tell us what's going to happen next. Very well. Private First Class Johnny G and Queen will be given this mission. Now that's more like it. Rookie, I'd like you to accompany them. They... no. We can't do this without you. You got nothing to worry about with me and the rookie on this one. All right, I'm gonna go prep my arsenal. I've got no problem busting heads while you handle the really hard stuff, BG. See you around. So what should we do? We could probably find our own way to that immortal base. I assume you'd like us to stand by in case of emergency. We can't afford to show our hand just yet. The discovery of this immortal base may be another one of Grief's ploys. Just let me know when Grief's ass needs kicking and I'll be there. In the meantime, I gotta fill Zoa in. I'll make sure we're both ready to dispatch at a moment's notice. Later.
Orders received, Brigadier General. Ah, and Empress. Yes. I apologize for my conduct earlier. Regardless of who or what you are, what is undeniable is that you are here now. You knew your choice was a mistake as you were making it, and now you seek atonement. With respect to that, I'd say that makes you more human than most. Thanks. Is it is it back in time? Is it are we are we good to go? Did it did it the the stream fully drop or am we are we back? Gumbo, I, I trust you. Strangely enough, did I catch it in time? Yes, awesome. Thank you. Um, I I hate having multiple uh vods up. I'd rather have it us like set as one. Thank, thank you for, uh, for catching me there. I don't know what the hell happened there. My OBS just was like, let's not, let's not stream anymore. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. I'm just trying to reopen my my phone chat because apparently it fucked up too. I gotta completely restart the app. Give me a second. Frickin' Twitch. Come on. I know I'm, I know I'm not a partner, but he can at least treat us half decently. I, th I think my, comp my, my, now my phone internet's fucking up. Why? Did my entire Wi-Fi just have a hiccup? Can someone say something in chat just to make sure I'm still connected? No, if he's... Okay, thank you, Gumbo. Appreciate you. I'm playing too when I do co-op. Uh, sure, Sooners. Let me complete this one mission that I just started up. Tiny buffer. Hope that's just me. Uh, yeah, just you. I have. I haven't dropped any frames again. My fucking phone just won't fucking connect. I'm just gonna. Re I'm gonna completely restart my phone. Give me a second, guys. Sure, sure, I'll go get something to do. Okie doke.
thank you for having patience, guys. I don't know what the hell's going on. I, I honestly really hate this. I just wish shit like this wouldn't happen sometimes. I know I'm not the most, like, organized, but... I'd at least I'd rather at least have so, hope for something stable for you guys. I don't care if I'm watching like drop frames, but I'd rather care I'd rather care about you guys having drop frames and whatnot, you know. It's still fucking up. It's okay, final. That <laughs> the back the backwards heart tripped me up for a second there. Um Yeah, my Wi Fi is doing something weird. I don't know what the fuck is going on. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to read chat, so I'm just going to... Actually, can I do something here? Oh, that's... Okay. What if I did F10 now? Nope. Ah, uh, shit. Is there a way to... Because I, I can't read chat because it's on full screen. Uh, Gumbo, can I... I don't know if Sphix is on right now. Can I entrust you just to let people know that uh, if if I'm not saying anything, it's just because my, my phone's acting up and I can't read chat for the time being? Can I entrust you with that? At least until Sphix gets on. Bless your ass, Scumbo. I appreciate you. And thank you, New. Approach complete. You have arrived at the mission area. Scanning battlefield. Femto particle density is uneven, but radar will not be affected. Initiating each arsenal's data link. Opening squad communications. Alert. I'm detecting activity originating from an enormous femto response. Caution is advised. Big deal. I've already seen one of those before. Wait, huh? Holy fuck, it's huge.
response has diminished further. Cumulative damage now exceeds 75%. Continue the mission. Oh boy. Femto response has dropped to 2%, well below the minimum for maintaining operation. The target is no longer functional. Mission complete. Mission accomplishment recognized. Two percent. So the core is still active? It'd be a real pain if this thing became functional again. Maybe we should put it down for good. Hold on. I want you to bring that core back with you. If it's still active, we might be able to extract data from it. Uh, but what if this immortal core starts, I don't know, corrupting other AIs? It is impossible for the corruption to spread through arsenal contact. Modifying return sequence. Before you return to base, we will place the core in a containment facility. Get all that? You're still scared. I'll hold the damn thing. Uh, I'm not scared. Yo, rookie! Don't give me that worried look. I'm fine, really. I'll hold on to the core. Affirmative. Mapping modified return sequence. Hmm. And what are you doing? How could you get shot down? Because I can't. Someone just KO'd me on ranked match from 100% and both my arms off. Like, within one shot? That which cannot be observed does not wow. exist. To deny existence, look away. But if one looks regardless, proxy of will, discover a new existence of potential. A new potential of existence. A potential I will not find, but which will be found by me. Nerf calibration complete. Beginning transmission. Sleep. The time to awaken will come soon. And <laughs> the British fuck is this? Gumbo. <laughs> it's grief bow. <laughs> I tried to talk to the immortal. I didn't think communication would be so difficult, but I'll chalk that up to the difference in our thought processes. I feel like I could probably talk to aliens now. There's no British emote? <laughs> you don't say. I've always wanted to talk to cats myself. What's your secret? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we found Gumbo. <laughs> Anyway, I wasn't really sure how to tell everyone this, but I've learned the Immortals' true purpose. Do tell. They're trying to save humanity, specifically by ensuring that the human race does not make contact with the Dominator. The Immortals knew all along what would happen in the Oval Link. He's using a pair of Baldur's Edge, which has a very regular critical damage and rate when he got, he got when we were both crossing swords Literally, I was on my assault shift that dropped my defense drastically. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Wait. They're on our side? Do you know how many times I've died fighting those things? Uh, you haven't died at all. Lots of other mercs have, though. A whole lot. I, same difference. 
They would kill every last mercenary to fulfill their purpose of preventing even a single human being from reaching the Dominator. But that's not the only reason why they've been so hostile toward the human race. What other reason could they have? Apparently, this was their way of providing humans with the Femto technology that they themselves developed. At the same time they were fighting humans, they were providing us with their remains to try to spark a technological revolution. Looking back, practically everything we know about Femto technology came from studying and reverse engineering immortals. Wait, so the immortals are killing humans? And letting themselves be killed by humans in order to save humans? I forgot his name's Crow, yeah. How the hell does that make any sense? Look, immortals just don't think the way humans do. And I'm being pretty generous with my interpretation of all this, to say the least. What we do know for sure is that the immortals believe that we are not even remotely ready to make contact with the Dominator. So, if we continue to fight the Immortals for decades, centuries even, we may someday be worthy of receiving the Dominator. Uh -huh. AIs don't have uh -huh. the strongest grasp on time to begin with. It could take a millennium or ten, if not longer. Grief's gonna reach the Dominator way before that ever happens. Can't we just convince the Immortals that they don't need to fight us? They can't tell us apart from Grief. As long as there's one person still seeking out the Dominator, they'll keep killing humans and they'll keep getting destroyed by them. So even with that shocking revelation, our situation remains unchanged. Any other developments? I'm pouring through all the information about the Ovalink project so I can figure out the specifics of Grief's plan. I haven't played Story Mode for almost a year now. This is the second time. This is my second playthrough of it. So. Why did he need the data? I, I like it. Him? Why is he recruiting mercenaries to his side? He must be preparing to act soon. We'll put together a search team. I'm sure he's lurking somewhere near the center of Oval. Simple plan, but appropriate given the circumstances. Without her information, this story could have ended with humanity's destruction without us ever knowing it. Instead, we force grief into hiding. When he finally peeks his head out, that's when we'll bring down the hammer. What on? Yeah, well, the grief is just a loser like us? Yeah. I just want to rescue my sister already. Even if I gotta knock her out and drag her home myself. The feeling is mutual. I assure you. All we can do for now is sharpen our blades and wait. You grief is a gamer? Yeah. Lightly around us, grief. One way or another, we will stop you. Okay, so I don't. Uh, how long have I been streaming? Two, two hours fifteen. Uh. Problem is now my internet's being funky again. I'm gonna call it quits here. Try to see if I can fix the internet. I'll be back for, uh, tomorrow for some uh, Minecraft. I might. Uh, I'm sorry, new. I know you wanted to play, but I'm. I, fucking. I don't want to like. I don't, I don't want I don't want to bring like shit gameplay to you if my internet's it's fucking up. And thank you for dropping that sauce fix. Let's figure out who to raid. It's all right. We can do it next time. Hell yeah! I love this game. So. Uh, oh, sorry. Excuse me. Uh, we have uh, two options right now. We have a uh, cow playing core keeper. I don't know. And uh, Eric Connors playing y uh, Yakuza 5. Or do we, we want to try to raid somebody new? Give him some love. Is Jeremy even streaming right now? 
GG anyway, GG. <laughs> We could do cow or somebody new. What what, what do other people think? Do we, do we agree with Sphix or do we uh? What do we do? I'm someone new. Are you gonna start streaming Gumbo? Yeah, Gumbo, just put put a camera near your cats and then uh. We'll, 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 we'll raid cat stream. I'll stream someday soon. All right. Oh, I'm scratching my leg and out of nowhere Elohim comes up. Hello, Elohim. Good boy. All right, so are we raiding cow then? Or what are we doing? Someday soon, he said, lying as easily as he prayed. <laughs> Sometime in 20XX, there will be no combo stream. Joke's on you. It's going to give him a kiss. Oh, he just walked off. Hims does cat things. Anyway, uh... It's so squishy. Uh, what is Cal playing? Cal Cal's playing Core Creeper. Actually, they're playing with somebody I don't like very well. So, well, let's let's raid Avery. Sorry, Cal, if you're hearing this, I just don't like the other person. I hope everybody has a good night. Damn, who the other person? Someone I just don't like IRL. It's it's one of those. Well, there are some people uh, who st from my IRL life who still watch my stream. I don't know if any right now, but I just have grief. That's it. Anyhow, uh, what does he play? Yakuza. Uh, Raid Master Joel, man, shut up. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go cry now. No, Sphix, I love you too much. Don't go crying. Well, I mean, you you feel free to cry. It's, it's healthy to cry, but all right. I don't. I don't. It's, he's playing Yakuza. That's what I can think of. Anyways, I hope everybody has a good one. Take care.